So yeah. item, old business well, item number two. Um, in charge. We have Fish and Wildlife to talk to us again <laughs> about the Moody Bridge Road grant. So we've uh, we've uh, met a few times uh, talking about this. Um, I have to fess up about something. Um, the uh, when I was in here last time, uh, I wasn't aware that there is a 20% match uh, required for this. However, that match uh, can be services in kind. Uh, Mike has come up with um, a strategy where um, he's identified services in kind that would, would satisfy the Hadley match, so there's no cash required. Um, and so he knows more about roads than I do, so I'm going to turn it over to him. Okay. And we met a several, several times at the TPW discussing this road of what we could do to, it to improve the condition of it. Because we all know Woody Bridge Road is a dirt road that a lot of cars travel on it too fast. It creates a lot of potholes, a lot of washboards, so we came up with an idea of how to fix it how to make it better through this grant process that we are applying for. We met with a with a person from Allstate's Asphalt, which does this type of work. He submitted an estimate to us. We sat down with him. We went over the estimate to determine which way would be the best way for that road. So what we are proposing to do is in two stages. Part of it the first year and the rest of it the second year. Now, meaning the first year part is what we do would be putting down fabric, <coughs> putting gravel over it, grading it, shaping it, getting it ready. The second year would be the actual surface coat, which would be a stone seal surface, which would require two coats since it is new work. So <coughs> we hashed this out of how we could do it, how we could pay for it, who pays for what, we have to come up with a 20% match. So for the first year, for the fabric, the gravel, and the grading, our contribution is $24,960 that we would have to come up with for labor. David, uh, if you could chime in on the uh, labor part of it, the uh, 105 hours that we discussed Right, so for the whole project, uh, we're, we're expected to contribute something on the order of $44,000 of in-kind services, it's not cash services, but in-kind services. So taking a, uh, taking a look at the formula that we use in order to calculate out the administrative charges for the two enterprise funds and using that as a base of calculation, we talked about Mike's time, we talked about my time, the treasurer's time, the accountant's time, DPW worker time, uh, and anybody who was going to conceivably be associated with this project came up with a rate and then used that rate in order to calculate out how many hours total in aggregate we would have to spend on this project in order to make the match. We came up with an estimate of 105 hours of labor. We talked about whether that was realistic and we certainly would be contributing collectively that kind of uh, time to the project. The first year is 24960 our match. The second year is $19,160. The total amount that this grant is going for, Andrew has it there, which I have here also, is $220,620. Is that correct? That's what you have written there. This will be broken down into two years. To me, I feel this is a great opportunity for this road. I mean, we spend a lot of money, a lot of time out on that road, and especially in the winter when the frost is coming out. That's why the filter fabric was, was mentioned to put down because of all the clay that tries to come up in the springtime once the frost comes out, all the potholes, all the washboards. I mean, that's a side road, it's a dirt road. We did the same thing years ago with Cemetery Road. I don't know if John was even here yet. Same scenario. Yeah. Do so actually paid for paid it. Paid for it. So it's not the first time that you know this has occurred. Uh, Cemetery Road was the same 
deal. Potholes, fast traffic, a lot of traffic. Do so, pay for the whole thing. I mean, out there, there's a real need for it because <clears throat> there's really no street lights, there's no guardrails, there's no anything out there. I mean, the liability that the town is, you know, involved with if someone does get into a serious accident because the road is in such poor condition, it's very hard to try to keep it up. So I feel this is a good opportunity to improve this section of roadway. Okay. Is there any questions from the board? Well, I've had a lot of uh, persistent input in the past week over this. And I just want to make sure everybody understands we're not paving this, we're not hard topping this. So it will only be stone and oil, it will be a rural side road still, but we're just knocking all the maintenance out of what we do every year on that particular section of the road. Right. Anybody else on the board? I had received phone calls too, they did not want it paved down there at all. Yeah. Mr. Michkowski? <clears throat> As a taxpayer, I opposed all this. What purpose and who does that road serve? Does it serve our residents or does it serve the, the federal government? The federal government want to fix up, let them pay for it. As far as I'm concerned, they took most of the land, purchased the land, they own the land. And the residents that live on Moody Bridge Road can exit right out this way and go that way. That only serves the federal government. I, I disagree. I, I think that there are plenty of people in town who access but the I'm looking at all our other roads yeah. that need repaving, need fixing. Where is, is that Moody Bridge Road on a priority list? That to me is on the bottom of the barrel. Yeah, we just heard from our I, I think yeah. I think it kind of when someone else is going to pay over. My brain just stopped working. Eighty cents on the dollar. Right. Yeah, I mean someone else is going to put that, that money in, then, then I think that in-kind services, because we're not going to take any actual money that we use in Chapter 9 in paving. But the fixing this. our roads, that's the thing. When you put them there, you take those hours and put it somewhere else. But you're actually getting more bang for your buck by leveraging the Who needs state's road. road. So, Taxpayers don't any other questions from the board? I think another thing that people don't realize is it costs us a lot of money to go out there and regrade that road. I, I think, and we do it I think more those numbers months. you got at $20,000 roughly is an estimate for one year of maintenance for that road. And, and, and I think that's probably where you were, where you were coming from with that, Michael? Yes, I was exactly. Who uses that. the road? All right. So, so, is there a motion? I'd make motion to support the, uh, moving forward with the grant. Okay. Is there a second? Second. Any other questions? <laughs> None? All, all in favor? Aye. 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 Oh, sorry.